हेलो एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग यस दिस बीन अ वाइल्ड सिंस आई मेड अ वीडियो जस्ट वॉन्ट टू से समथिंग अबाउट सी ओ टू एंड रेगुलेटर्स आई हर्ड लॉट ऑफ इश्यूज दे रिगार्डिंग सी ओ टू रेगुलेटर्स लॉट ऑफ लीक्स एवरी टाइम आई कनेक्ट द रेगुलेटर इमीडिएटली इट go down to zero i literally scratched my head off you know trying to figure out what was right and what was wrong what was going on so just give i want to give some tips regarding co2 regulators and if someone out there who has had problems like me probably this video will help so this is my 4 feet tank which is uh, co2 injected and you can see that uh, there is one atomizer in tank which is placed here at one end and the other one will be right at the back at the other corner yeah so it so see what it goes around the tank so this the bubble from here is they are blown by this uh wave maker to the right of the tank while the other one at the back is blown to the left and so it goes around the tank so there should be even distribution of co2 bubbles and uh, the setup underneath you can see that there are two cylinders to use for this 4 feet it's a 105 liter gallon tank so almost 400 liters so it's better you know you can use two co2s you know you get good healthy growth so initially when i started i was using this uh, single gauge co2 uh, regulators these are chinese made wine products it works out to be a little bit cheaper the problem with these regulators were that you know since it's a single stage when you open this regulator what happens is when you open the tank after fitting so even though you have to keep this nozzle a little bit open the the pressure that hits from the co2 is quite high so a lot of these regulators what happens is during the course of time each time you empty the tanks and fit it again these nozzles they start to leak so i uh, had a couple of regulators where once this is closed completely this this gauge will maintain the pressure but as soon as i open this regulator uh, this gauge needle valve for co2 to go out this will start dropping and finally this will come to zero so the leak was here so this uh, kept on happening i didn't i couldn't figure out like how to like go about avoiding this then finally i had no other choice and i went to this same company which makes a dual gauge the dual gauge what happens is you have two pressure gauges so this is the in uh, cylinder temperature this is the working pressure so what happens is the there are two stages of so the first stage the co2 hits this regulator so it comes up there is no direct pressure on this valve okay so initially you have to open this up to max and once it comes here <coughs> then you tighten this up the opposite direction and then <coughs> this needle <coughs> will go from <coughs> sorry 0 to around 40 to 60 which is the working pressure and that's when your co2 can be used from the needle valve so this avoids the direct pressure of the co2 from the cylinder on this needle valve because this needle valve is this is a small washer and uh, it is it is has a tendency for leaking so i would always go for the dual stage and this is the new setup and <coughs> you can see that this been used for some time now the needle is still at 800 and uh, while this is working pressure is maintaining at a stable rate I've been lucky with this regulator because this has been working well for me for three to four times now. 
the moment it starts going out and i'll have to replace that with a dual stage also so the cost difference is not very high that one costs 3100 rupees in the indian market in amazon or uh, their website and this one costs around 4000 bucks so not much of a difference but you're going to get a good uh, quality item for this you know you, this i think this life will be better than the single gauge and uh, i think overall you will have be a happy person once you you know get this product so this is about co2 and regulators and uh, if you have any other queries you can just post in the questions column and i'll uh, soon be making some more videos regarding the plant fertilizer and nutrition in the world of uh, planted tanks you know i think that's important there's a lot of queries in that that area anyway thanks for watching do subscribe thank you